I'm Henry Gilliland, the Mechatronics Specialist with Electric Supply and Equipment. In this video, I'm going to discuss the process of converting a motion control system from Circos Communications to SIP Communications. But before we get going, please be sure to subscribe to es &E TV to view more videos like this one. CIRCOS stands for Serial Real-Time Communication System and uses fiber optics for communications. While CIRCOS is a robust, noise-resilient system, it requires specialized communications technology and can be very difficult to troubleshoot. CIP, or SIP, stands for Common Industrial Protocol. SIP uses standard Ethernet cables and standard Ethernet hardware for communications. This makes SIP inexpensive and simplifies implementation. SIP Motion is the industry standard for motion control and mechatronics applications. As Circos networks and devices become obsolete and impractical to maintain, it's becoming more and more necessary to modernize motion control systems to devices that use SIP communications. Let's take a look at the steps you need to take to upgrade your system. Step 1. Convert the hardware. Let's start with the servo drive. You'll need to find the Ethernet IP servo drive that corresponds to your current Circos servo drive. Rockwell's Kinetics 5000 series servo drives all use Ethernet IP for communications and control. The 5000 series drives are the newest available. It's a simple matter to size the correct drive based on the current servo motor being used. In the description below, there are links to the design guides for each of the 5000 series SIP Motion servo drives. These design guides contain lists of all the compatible servo motors for each drive family. They also provide a recommended drive based on a given servo motor. In cases where the motors are too old to be run by the new drive, it's recommended to consult an engineer that can size and convert the old motor to a new motor. Next, you may need to convert the PLC and communications. The main reason you would need to upgrade your processor is if the current system has a firmware revision below 21. This is because only processors with a firmware revision higher than 21 can control the 5000 series servo drives using SIP motion. While revision 21 is the lower limit, it's always recommended to use the most recent firmware revision available. If you're using a Control Logics processor, then it's a simple matter of swapping out the old PLC for a new one. There will also be a Circos Communications card that will no longer be needed. You can remove the Circos card and add in an Ethernet IP card, or you can simply purchase a new PLC that has built-in Ethernet, such as the 1756L81E. If you're already operating your PLC because of the firmware, then this is generally the best approach. If using a compact Logix processor, then you will likely need to upgrade the entire PLC rack. This may involve changing out some I.O. cards along with the PLC processor. There are guides available that detail the features and capabilities that must be addressed, especially when dealing with old-style communications technologies such as DeviceNet. In these special cases, it's usually recommended that you consult with es and &E's PLC specialists in order to determine the best path forward. Step 2. Convert the software. Now that we've modernized our hardware, it's time to reconfigure the software while we wait for our parts to arrive. The first step will be to use Logix Designer to reconfigure the PLC code to match the new processor's hardware and firmware. If you open the Logix Designer project in the version you are upgrading to, then the software will prompt you to change the controller to a newer revision. Select the new controller you are using and then the firmware. Again, it's almost always recommended to use the latest firmware revision available. After upgrading the PLC and firmware in the Logix Designer file, we will need to convert each axis from an axis servo drive to an axis SIP drive. This can be done by deleting the old axis and creating a new one of type axis SIP drive and then giving it the same name as the old axis. This method will map over the majority of the old tags to the new axis. 
there are some tags that will not map over properly. Usually these tags are diagnostic tags that simply have different names with the SIP axis. For a complete list of all the differences between the CIRCOS tags and the SIP tags, you can refer to the Integrated Motion on CIRCOS and Ethernet IP Network Analysis and Comparison tech note. A link to this tech note can be found in the description of the video below. Once all the tags have been corrected, the next step is to convert the communications configuration in the controller organizer. Since we will no longer be using the CIRCOS communications card, we can delete all the CIRCOS modules and the CIRCOS card from the I.O. configuration tree. If you're using an Ethernet IP card, you can add that to the PLC I.O. configuration. If you're using a PLC with onboard Ethernet, then you can just add the new servo drive modules directly to the controller's Ethernet IP configuration. Now you can associate the new Ethernet IP modules to the SIP axes we created earlier. You should also take the time at this point to configure the power settings in the module properties. Now that the module has been associated, we can finalize the configuration of the axis. In the axis properties, you will need to add in the correct servo motor, set the correct scaling configuration in the scaling tab, and configure the homing routine, as some of this information was lost when we deleted the old axis. It is recommended to examine the equipment you are running to verify your scaling is correct. However, you should also take care to match the setting from the original configuration so that the programming remains consistent. You can now verify the code and download. If there are any errors at this point, you should address them now. That's it! This process can take many different paths, but with the right planning and the right tools, you can upgrade your motion system from CIRCOS to SIP in a snap. If you have any questions or you would like further assistance with your migration, please reach out to your local ESNE account manager for more information. Thanks for watching.